Hello, on the seat of August 2022, this Reverend Sister by name Maureen Wichin, who is 44 years of age, was found illegally possessing 15 kidnapped children in a fake orphanage which she owned. This all happened in Abuja Phase 2, Equerre local government area of River State, Nigeria. Guys, let's get into this crime story. So guys, ignore the background noise. It was on the 6th of August 2022 when the Commissioner of Police, Ebuka Friday, was informed by an informant that there is a Reverend Sister who is 44 years of age and has illegally in a position 15 kidnapped children in a fake orphanage which she owned. Upon hearing that, the Commissioner of Police dashed off in action immediately to the location of this Reverend Sister. The Commissioner of Police started interrogating her and she revealed that these children are children of mentally deranged women who are giving birth to them and couldn't take care of them because of their mental state. After hard pressure and interrogation from the police, she revealed that there is a man who kidnaps these children and brings these children to her. And also there is a woman. But she said the man's name is Victor. And this, this man always brings these children in tools. And this man always pressurizes her to pay a sum for the children. And she says that times when she pays 50,000 Naira, 100,000 Naira, right up to 900,000 Naira for these children. And she also revealed that there's a woman called Alice who usually brings these children to her. And she also revealed that she is a reverend sister, but the police find it hard to believe. And she said she's a reverend sister of the ladies of Victory Missionary Sisters in England, that she's the only Nigerian involved, which is shocking. She is a reverend sister not in a convent in Nigeria, but a missionary sister or convent in England. These children range from the age of 4 to 10. When the police started interrogating the children, they all revealed that they were being kidnapped. And they could all recall how they were kidnapped by different men from different states from the south south of nigeria and they said these men brought them to this reverend sister by name maureen Wichin, who is the culprit they also revealed that they have been beaten by the sister and they, some of them have been hypnotized terribly guys take a look at this picture look at this boy's body this little boy's body guys these are the names of the 15 kidnapped children as you all can see out of the 15 children, five of their parents have been called by the police and they corroborated the story which these children said that their children were being kidnapped by unknown men and they spent days upon days looking for them, crying every single day about their kidnapped children. First of all guys, this crime story is horrible. It is disgusting. It is shocking. It is terrible. Because the first thing, this I will just make this clear, this sister isn't a real reverend sister. She is not a real reverend sister. She is fake. She is a fake reverend sister. She had to identify herself as a reverend sister and dress as a reverend sister in order for her to commit this crime of trial trafficking and selling these children to other people who will come to buy them, to use them for blood sacrifice or use them for manual labor so that they can serve their masters who bought them. So. This woman isn't a real reverend sister. And two, how dare she said she's a reverend sister of the ladies of Victory Missionary Sisters, which is in England, not in Nigeria. You are a reverend sister not in a covenant based in Nigeria, but in England. Then you should be in England. You shouldn't be in Nigeria. But you are in Nigeria running an orphanage. So that also proves that she is a fake reverend sister. She just had to identify herself as a reverend sister and address herself as a reverend sister and dress like a reverend sister rather in order to carry out this grievous evil heinous criminal acts of child trafficking and they are not children of mentally deranged women who gave birth to them at the street site and they were being brought to this reverend sister and their parents whom they their parents who have been contacted by the police and their parents corroborating the same story which these children are saying it proves that this sister is a you know is a fake reverend sister and this is what she does for a living this is what she does she dresses as a reverend sister and she address herself as a reverend sister and go around you know trafficking children so guys the five children whose parents have already been contacted and they corroborated the story which their children had given to the police are prosper godwin queen harry who is a female miracle john ohiri who is a male favor adese who is a male and Chimelo Obina who is a female so their parents have already reached out to the police telling the police that their children were being kidnapped so this proves that this sister is running you know a child trafficking agency in the name of an orphanage because if these children were being brought to you without identity the first thing you do is take the matter to the police and report the matter to the police so that the police can try to like locate their parents
but she never took these children to the, to the police so that they can be identified. Instead, she kept them in her care, beating them, hypnotizing them on several occasions. This woman is a very evil woman. So guys, this is the crime story coming out from River State, Nigeria. This is shocking. This is evil. And I don't believe that this woman is no reverend sister. And no one amongst us should ever start attacking reverend sisters or the Roman Catholic Church. This is what they do. I know in Europe we've all seen, you know, crime stories of pedophilia of Roman Catholic fathers in Europe having sex with underage children. But this sister with the evidence I've just put out, you know, in this video, this sister isn't a reverend sister. She dresses like a reverend sister. She addresses herself as a reverend sister, you know, in order to carry out this heinous crime of child trafficking. Because when people see her, they'll, have, they'll know, oh, she's doing the Lord's work in that reverend sister attire. And they'll not try to, like, think twice that maybe she's a child trafficker. So, guys, that is what I have for you today. That's the crime story coming out of River State, Nigeria. I love you all, but know Jesus Christ loves you more. Stay safe and be blessed. And bye-bye.